protecting plants without pesticides. Conventional pesticides are a double-edged sword that scientists are now seeking to replace with more natural RNA-based plant vaccines. Without pesticides, roughly 70% of the world's crops would be lost to pests, but such chemicals are toxic, killing insects but also affecting the rest of the environment. A new approach developed in Finland and France involves directly spraying plant leaves with an RNA-based vaccine that inoculates against specific pests or pathogens. The vaccine triggers a process called RNA interference, which prevents invading RNA strands from carrying out their functions, thus causing the pest to die. RNA molecules in the vaccine do not negatively affect the host plant. The RNA also has the added benefit of being biodegradable because it breaks down quickly. Instead of chemical synthesis, scientists use a bacteria-eating virus called the bacteriophage to help generate the RNA. But with no relevant legislation in existence to govern its use, it's hard to say when the vaccine will be available commercially. Keep watching for more plant science. Scientists grow heart tissue on spinach leaves. Maybe Popeye was right all along. Long hailed as a superfood rich in nutrients, researchers have now successfully converted spinach into beating human heart tissue. Scientists at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts washed spinach leaves with detergent to remove the plant's cells. The process preserves the plant's vascular system, which the researchers then seeded with cardiac tissue. After several days, the leaves began to beat like a heart. The scientists then pass dye through the plant's network of veins in what they say is proof of concept that spinach has the potential to transport blood. The researchers said they believe spinach could be used in the future to treat patients with heart problems, possibly by grafting spinach implants onto damaged heart tissue. Modified spinach plants detect explosives. MIT researchers have modified spinach plants to turn them into bomb detectors. Explosives such as landmines contain chemical compounds called nitroaromatics. If nitroaromatics are present in groundwater, they are absorbed by the roots of the spinach plant and transported to the leaves in a process called transpiration. Researchers embedded the leaves with molecules that bind to nitroaromatics and carbon nanotubes which emit a constant fluorescent signal that serves as a reference. An infrared camera reads these signals. When nitroaromatics are present, the fluorescent signal from the molecules decreases. Once the decrease is detected, the device sends a wireless signal to the user. The experiments were conducted within a distance of 3.3 feet, but researchers are confident that the radius can be increased and that one sensor could monitor multiple plants. Scientists make glow-in-the-dark plant. Can you imagine using a plant for a bed light? Scientists at MIT have developed a plant that can glow in the dark. They say it can be used for late-night reading. To light up the plants, they used an enzyme in fireflies known as luciferase. This provides the insect with their glow. The scientists say their work could possibly be applied to street lamps. So, would you use a plant as a replacement for your light?